Um, where'd it go? Okay, there. There's more. Here's one. There he is. Hey, man. Uh, please help me. I'm badly wounded. You sure are bleeding a lot. I've been attacked. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. Hello, hola, and shalom. Rebellia here with a brand new episode of Medieval Dynasty. Oh my gosh. Uh, my brain, like, zoned out for a moment but uh yeah we're picking up a little bit after we uh left off i completed a couple more quests so now all we got to do is talk to this lady here to find out about the rye so let's find out what's going on uh, I've been sent by deborah Nega. what for um uh -huh. i've heard that you are the one that the supplies ride to the tavern, is that right? So? Let's see. Um, is this not a good moment? Forgive me, I don't mean to be rude, I'm just dealing with some personal issues. I don't want to intrude, just wanted to ask about the ride situation. Is everything alright? Uh, I don't want to bother you with my problems. You're not bothering. I'm eager to listen if you'd like that. Well, a long time ago, I made a major mistake. And the consequences of that decision are troubling me now. What kind of mistake? Marrying an idiot? Oh, I'm sure you're exaggerating. <laughs> Believe me, I'm not. How exactly does he... Doubtful intellect... His doubtful intellectual prowess trouble you? Uh, last night he was supposed to sell one of our cows in the market. I told him specifically the price he should sell it for. We need the coins now more than ever, and can you guess what he comes back with? Nothing? A handful of seeds that someone told him were magical. Magic seeds. Can you imagine? Moron. <laughs> Jack of the Beanstalk. Uh, was there anything extraordinary about the seeds? They weren't even seeds. It was just a bunch of rabbit droppings. I'm going to lose my mind because of that man, I swear. I would love to say something I'm lifting right now, but damn, he really does sound foolish. Can I do something to help? Thank you. That's what I needed to hear. There's nothing for you to do, sweetie, but I appreciate the offer. Letting me vent a little was more than enough already. It was a pleasure. Could you tell me about that rye situation now? Unfortunately, we won't be able to provide the rye this time. The crops are all deceased and pretty much unusable. As if I didn't have enough problems already, but don't worry. I ordered a delivery of rye from Ralnica. It should have should be here yesterday, actually. Don't excuse me, don't know what happened. Nadar is usually very prompt. Maybe you could go see him and check if everything is alright. That's what I'm going to do then. Take care. Alright, so now we got the next step of that quest added. Um, it is getting dark, so we are going to head back to, uh, back to home and get some rest. All right, got a fresh day. Let's go out here and check our rabbit trap, because it's actually kind of on the way. Um, if you're okay with going off the road, um, ooh, hello. Three logs. Whoa! Where'd these come from? I will take those. I don't remember leaving those there. Um. It's been a shadow, I thought I was. Alright, I'm getting disoriented here. Okay. A rabbit trap should be right over here. Yep, and we got us a rabbit. So let's. Collect that, and then we'll arm the trap again. All right, so let's pull up our map. Yeah, we are here. We need to go all the way over here. So you can see why I'm saying it's a long trek. But we're just going to follow the road. 
wrong here, I think. Anyway, if you're willing to stay off the roads and actually go through the foliage and everything, then you can cut off a lot of distance. But the problem with that is it's uneven terrain. You're more likely to run into bandits as well as um, threatening animals, aggressive animals that are liable to attack you. And right now we don't exactly have much defense against something like that, which is why I'm sticking to the roads just for now. All right, that was quite a trek. Finally made it to the town. Um, it looks like the guy we need to talk to is right on around here. Excuse me, sir. Uh, hello, what can I help you with? I was asked to check up on the ride delivery that was supposed to go to Gustovia. Are there any setbacks? So he hasn't even reached Gustovia yet. That's worrying. What happened? I sent one of my workers with the parcel yesterday. He should be back already here. Uh, there were never any problems with this route before. Something must have gone wrong. I'm already involved in this situation, so I could go and try to find him. I've traveled here from Gustovia, but maybe I missed him somewhere on the way. Would you do it? That's extremely helpful of you. I hope that he's okay. Well, let's not waste that time then. Alright, so... That's all we really had to do. Now up here you've got your pig farmer and some of the other stuff. Um, I don't think there's anything we really need. But let's see if we can go and find this traveler. Um, now I do know we will have to return here after we find him. But if you guys can see that island where my cursor is. I don't know if you're ever sent to that island, but in my trial run, there was a chest with a bunch of really good supplies in it. So that might be like a little Easter egg, I guess you could call it. So if you pull up your map, it's literally this island right here. It's like dead center of it almost. There's a, a chest. And then down here, we've got to try to find that guy. Dang it. <laughs> Give me a bunny rabbit. I don't want to hurt you. I mean, it'll be instantaneous, so does that count as hurting? I don't know. Uh, he is not stopping. Now, I do know in this area here, you need to kind of be careful because there are wolves. So if we follow his path, so we're coming up right on the, the spot here. But if we follow his path, he should have just stayed on this road and kept going. So it would stand a reason he would be along this road. Oh, I thought I saw something. Yeah, there's a barrel over there, it looks like. Let's see. Let's get over here. Or is that just a rock? I guess it was just a rock. Okay, my bad. Okay. Do, 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 do. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, I found blood. Um. Check. Nothing around here, it looks like. Okay, so we got blood here. It's like more. Okay, so it's trailing. So we gotta follow the blood trail. Yeah, it does look like he was ambushed. Or something. Is that rocks? Or is that bags? That's rocks, okay. Here's more blood. And more of it. Damn. It must have hurt him pretty bad. 
more blood. Okay, and it goes off this way. Um, where'd it go? Okay, there. There's more. Here's one. There he is. Hey, man. Uh, please help me. I'm badly wounded. You sure are bleeding a lot. I've been attacked. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. You're Nadar's worker, aren't you? Uh, the one who was supposed to deliver the ride at Gustovia? That's right. Here, take the parcel if you want. Just please get some help. I'm on my way. Hold on. Alright. So, now... We gotta return... There's another bunny rabbit. And another one. Wow, there's a lot of uh, animals around here. Um, so now we gotta go back, and I'm just kind of working my way through because I want to try to cut the distance shorter. <clears throat> and here's our road. So now we can just follow this road all the way back to that town. But we definitely gotta get him some help. And this is something I did find out. You need to try to, if you're gonna do a quest, try to complete it before the end of the season. Because some of them are time, some time sensitive to where when the season passes, then you run out of time. And then there's others that they'll, they'll keep going anyway. But, oh, is that the one with the rot? Yeah, that's the one with the rot. Dang it. <laughs> but uh, in my trial run, when I was trying to do this, I had actually waited a long time to do it. And it was right at the end of the season. I completed everything, and after you talk to Nadar up here, he sends you with another rye shipment, and you got to go to Gustovia. I was just about to enter the gates of Gustovia when the night ended and switched over to the new season, and I was teleported back to my cabin. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So now I got to travel even further than I was supposed to have to because it teleported me. So you can't just stay out all night somewhere, apparently. You have to, um, at least not with the, the end of the season. Uh, about the ride delivery. <laughs> Hello. Yes. I found your man wounded on the road. He's been attacked and needs help. Uh, oh my, I must send someone promptly. I gave him some medicine. He should be able to pull through. Or no, I'm going to say you should hurry. Thank you very much for the help. Will you handle the delivery of the rye? I don't know when I... Sure, don't worry about it. You're amazing. Here, have some coins for all your help. I'm going to tell him to keep it because that worker is going to need that. You're a true hero. I wish you all the best. Now, the reason I did that, the key to this game is you have to actually develop relationships with people in order to get them to join your settlement later on. So, by me doing that, I'm increasing my reputation even more than what um, it would have been had I just went ahead and taken the coins. So, let's see. What have we got over here? Some sort of a store. What can I do for you? Uh, show me your wares. Goods of the highest quality. Animal feed... Oh, there's a bag. Let's see, it's 270 coins to get one. Alright, so... It was nice seeing you. I think we got ourselves pretty well set up. Now, I can only walk this fast, so it's going to take me a while to get back to the our cabin. So, let me cut the video here, and I will see you when I get back to the cabin. This is going to be a long walk. Okay, guys, I finally made it back. I cleaned out my bags, and now we're able to move so much faster. Oh, my gosh. I literally walked 
all night to get back here. Oh, I'm gonna put that X away. <laughs> but yeah, I literally had to walk all through the night. It was dawn uh, when I reached the town just before our house, uh, which I think is like Boro or something like that is the name of the town. Anyway, it's the one on this road. It's like right over there. But yeah, it was a long walk. <laughs> it took forever. So we are going to go and turn in this rye delivery. Um, and then we're going to probably call this an episode. Um, not sure. Still no refresh. Okay. I always check those wrecks now. Ever since I figured out that they have stuff. It's like that is the easiest way to get resources. So, when we get up here to the town, I do want to find the barn and see if maybe I can craft the fertilizer with this bag. Because apparently that's what you're supposed to do um, in order to use the bag on the field. So, we'll see what if I can do that or not because I'm not sure if I can I mean, it would make sense I don't see why I couldn't okay the barn I think it's this building up here why are you using a torch it's already daylight people okay yeah. I think this is the barn could be wrong can I not use these? Oh, sorry, sir. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, I can't use them because they're not mine. Dang it. I was hoping. Alright. Well, that's okay. We're gonna come down here. We're gonna... Well, I thought we were gonna talk to her. Alright, where's the girl at? This direction. A pastor. There she is. Scoop me. Did someone order a rice deliver a rye delivery? Uh, let me check my list. Everlasting youth, world peace, extinction of mosquitoes, right, yes. <laughs> uh, here you go. Uh, did you find any problems on the way? Uh, a few, but nothing a big time adventure like me can could not handle. Feel sorry for the slain dragons already. <laughs> you should. The werewolves definitely weren't happy about it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, uh, here's your payment, conqueror of the simple errand. I bid you wear farewell as a wealthy man in that case. Take care, Devonega. Okay, so what did we get? Got a hundred reputation from it, but oh wow! Looks like we got almost hundred coins from that. I will take it. Um, so the only other quest we have at the moment is actually talking to Unigos. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to him, and then uh, we're going to end the episode. Uh, Rosemir. Hey, Unigosh, you're looking at the proud house owner from the valley, and I'm back bearing beers. Uh, a job well done indeed. All right, let me wet my throat with this amber goodness and start reminiscing. I know Eordan knew Eordan for 22 years before he died. He was my best and truest friend, a brother, actually. I remember the day we met as if it was yesterday. <clears throat> I was 25 at the time, living in the big city of Jellenberg, uh, where I was born. You could say I hated that place, but still, it was the only home I ever knew. Maybe someday I'll tell you more about that. Anyway, I was forced to take care of my own. So I did, doing the only thing I could do, stealing. You were a thief? I was, and a bloody good one, if I might say. Picking pockets was my bread and butter. I could steal a piece of steak right from your fork and you wouldn't even notice. 
It wasn't greed that motivated me, just survival. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy the process. Stealing is still a crime, no matter the motivation. I'd say you'll want to wait and hear a bit more before getting all high and mighty on me. I'm sorry, go on. We had an annual festival at Jellenberg. It, was, it always brought a whole bunch of outsiders to town. You can imagine what that meant for a man in my profession. I could do a day's worth of work in a matter of minutes. I grabbed a few coins here and there, some jewelry, a pair of new boots, and then I saw a nobleman with a money bag strapped to his belt. It was basically begging to be set free. I sneaked behind him in the crowd like I did a thousand times before. Child's play. I gently grabbed the pouch, did a little shimmy magic, and there it was, sitting neatly in my palm. Just needed to turn around and disappear like always. And then, wham! What happened? I was punched in the face by what felt like a bull, and I was so shocked I didn't e even realize what happened until I hit the ground. My head was pounding, I could barely see straight, and do you know what was the first thing I saw next? Another blow coming? <laughs> no. A smile. A big, radiant smile on the face of the man with two different eyes. It was your Uncle Eorden, the one I took for a nobleman. He stuck his hand out, helped me get back up, and offered me a beer. <laughs> Just like that, or... Wait, he did realize you were trying to rob him, right? Of course he did. I don't get it. That's just how he ordered was. You see, your uncle was deadly clever. Smartest man I've ever known, hands down. He could see the world like nobody else, predict things. He was always at least a dozen steps ahead of anyone else. So, on a rare occasion that somebody surprised him, he was intrigued. And he wasn't expecting you. Indeed. Apparently, even despite my failure, I was still the one that came the closest to robbing him. And he liked that. So I'm guessing you accepted his invitation, right? I didn't really have a choice, did I? I was terrified of the guy at that moment. So we went. He took me to the most expensive and most crowded tavern in the whole town. Remember that it was the day of the festival. Even entering that place was next to impossible. He didn't seem to care, though. In the matter of seconds, we were sitting at the table, uh, being serviced by two barmaids at the same time. It was surreal in my mind there was only one explanation he owned the place and did he not at all it was his first time in jellenberg it all felt like a dream to be honest especially with me still being dazed after the punch i was still sure that he was a nobleman his manners his clothes the way he talked and moved and then he chugged a beer like it like it was a race wiped it the face with his sleeve and burped like a drum he went from the lord to to the savage like that <laughs> i re uh, i relived that moment a dozen times until i realized why he did that it wasn't a mistake oh no no laziness no moment of weakness he wanted me to see it to understand it understand what that he was full of crap <laughs> You see, Rasimir, your uncle was one of a kind. He was a true master of arms, and his weapon of choice was his confidence. What does that even mean? Imagine a closed door with two armed guards on it, at its sides, and you want to what's inside. What are your options? You can force yourself in, bribe the guards, try to pick a lock. Uh, but he ordered, he just hold his head holds his head up high, walks right in, and demands the door to be open. You're right, that all sounds surreal. I never knew that about my uncle. My mother's stories were quite different. I'm straight with you, it all sounds made up. <laughs> I'm going to go with this one. You were right, that all sounds surreal. I never knew that about my uncle. My mother's stories were quite different. Because I'm afraid she knew a quite different Eorden than me, than everybody else in the pack. Wait, the pack? Oh, dear Ransomer, there is so much more you still don't know. Our story hasn't even really begun. But it's getting late. Come on, you can't just leave me hanging like that. All right, I'm going to tell you a bit more. After that beer we had, we had a couple more. Then some mead, if I remember correctly. 
We were talking about our past, our dreams, convictions. Started making some drunken, absurd plans. I thought we were joking, to be honest. The next thing I remember is waking up in silk sheets. I'm guessing they weren't yours, correct? Are you kidding? It was the first time I ever touched the, the fabric like that. The ceiling in the chamber was so high it could fit a giant. I thought I was dreaming. Then the servants walked in. I was ready to flee, but instead of fighting me, they presented me with breakfast. Really? How come? It was all the Orden's doing. I've never found out how he managed to pull it off. Whenever I asked, he just burst into laughter, even years after. Needless to say, I left Jellenberg with him on that day. The first time I went outside of the town's walls and never came back. That was the day the pack was born, and three years later, there were three of, uh, there were five of us, a real team, a family. We called ourselves the Reminders. Oh, how I wish I could be there. It all sounds incredible. I've never had adventures like that, and probably never will. Easy, my boy, if it wasn't fu always fun and lovely. But it's a tale for another time. It really did get late. It really did get late, and I'm sure you still have a lot of work to do. Come and find me tomorrow. We'll talk some more. I'll do that. Thank you, Unigaz, for everything. Okay. So now we have a little more history of what happened with the uncle. We have to wait until tomorrow to find out any more. And apparently I can't uh, mess with the crafting benches and such. Um which kind of sucks um anyway guys i'm going to end this episode here as i make my way back to our cabin i hope you guys did enjoy if you did be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and would like to join our wolf pack and if you have any ideas about future series or episodes games you'd like to see me play be sure to drop that down in the comments as well and till next time guys i hope you all had fun and i'll see you in the next episode bye I got my